Hello everyone, this is me Nancy here. Welcome back to our live tutorial. Happy Wednesday. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. I can't wait to um, share with you a lot of cool live uh, tutorial two nails today. Last night, oh, so last night we have two long nails. So we're supposed to do two short nails today, but I am going to do some liquid gun powder for you. So this probably I'm gonna save it for tomorrow night. For the nails i'm so excited for the short nails as well but today i'm gonna do especially for a lot of you who are asking so many questions for liquid and powder chan for foil and um um encapsulating uh charm leaves the so fall leaves for the design so i'm gonna absolutely excited and can't wait to to share with you so if you are on Facebook, thank you so much for sharing it for us. Uh, somehow we couldn't able to have to share it. We don't know. Maybe we should upload the new apps, I guess. And or download the new app or updating it. So hello, uh, Facebook. Hi, Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. And give me one second. I'm going to send it quick. If everybody have some time stopping by, that'll be awesome. And if you're busy, you can tuning in absolutely fine. You can absolutely um, be watching them from our IGTV or Facebook video. Give me one second. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Instagram. All right. Everything is good. All right, let's get right in. That's fabulous. Hey, Shireni, how are you? No, you didn't miss anything. You just seeing this uh, the nails from last night. If you miss it last night, you can absolutely be watching them from our IGTV or Facebook page video. And don't forget to go into our post and uh, looking at all the fun things for Chan to win a give giveaway of this week so whole entire week we're gonna running a giveaways and we'll announce the winners on next monday live stream tutorials and basically you doing it every single day you get chance to enter to win you can do all seven days or well, six days live stream as well but just like um reposting the post on your page and then it's hashtag glitz accessory and such and uh glitz contest and tag us on the pictures at glitz accessory and such and then also on our post that after the live video we have the post that so you see the pictures and you can just tag one of your bestie you doesn't matter how many times you can tag that will be fun so then all your friends can enter to win as well hello amelia how are you uh just Tina, hello, how are you? Thanks so much everyone for tuning in. So let's get um right in. Hi CC, hello Mom Ma Vic. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you. The nail specialist, hello. Um nail by Nivida, hello, how are you? Hi, crazy claws, hello. Okay, all right, Mama Vic, dry safe. Uh, so let's see hello cc how are you okay great so hi erics thanks so much everyone for tuning in so excited to have all hey messi how are you hey mostly Brittany. hello how are you okay so great i am going to start today let's uh, move on and you make sure you can't able to view them on our igtv it's really cool fun watch that it's short live tutorial it's so cool with how i do sugaring outlines for the flowers so let's move into this and supposed to be today is short nails but because we have so many requests for chan for foy uh encapsulate ombre designs as well as on all the fall leaves 
it's still really cool and uh, going hot right now because people love this leaf. So then we're gonna do that. So let do start with either one. So I am going to start with my 14, um, number 14 brush. So I just took the cap off. And the shape of my brush, the bristle is staying really nice and it looks like remaining look like a brand new one because it's a great, great cap with the air flows here. So it keeps my brush from getting any dust or any like dryness or moist in here. And then it's like the cap right here. So whenever I'm finished, and just put it down. So all of remainings, all excess like liquid will not going backward into your bristles and the back here. So it keep the brush stay nice and moist and looks like a brand new, even though I'm used so many times. So I have a monomers right there on my side. You probably are not gonna see because the screen is curved. And then I have four of this color is really cool. I might use three of them. And this is from a Chisel Nail Art also. It's gonna be a, one of our sponsors for the classes coming in Pensacola. So the powder is just amazing. It's really smooth, it's like buttery. So I'm gonna using this natural, if you have the class using a clear tip, absolutely looks cute as well. You can make it look like it's really a clear, clear. Uh, and I have a clear powders right here. Hello, Facebook. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks so much for sharing as well. So I'm gonna dip in the monomers and I am going to pick the yellow. A little bit of green is about if you're doing the ratios for doing a right like you can do a 70% of your yellow and probably about 30% of a green because green is really um, pigmented do it again you can do one do one side with your green, the other side with your orange. And then just give it really sort of. At first you look like, ah, uh, it doesn't look attractive at all, which is. I'm gonna create some fun looks here for far right now. Continue. You can work with the smaller portions is the best to do that because you can control it so much better. And blend it first before you go and pick up another one. This right here to perfect the cuticle area. Hey, Teresa, hey, hey, Dom, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Great, so I am going to let it set for a second, put a little bit of yellow, and I'm gonna using just a little bit of sugaring, like kind of a pumpkin spice, and then cute orange right there. You're gonna start seeing this one in uh, $5. Now art is so much fun. I just wanna add just a little bit. You want more? Absolutely. a little bit of the pumpkin spice okay so I'm gonna let it set first because I am going to put some um, chanfer foil gels here 
so then we can apply that cute leaves on so going to the next one I'm gonna pick this like an orange For the ombre, make sure when you do it ombre, this part you want to make it thin. Don't want to make it too thick because when you start blending ombre, it's gonna make a big crease and it's hard for you to blend it together. There's so many different ways to do ombre. This is one of the way. So I'm using the belly of the bristle and kind of blend it and guide it toward to the free edges just a little bit hey nene hello how are you It's really cool though. And also I'm gonna let this one just set too. You can ombre marbling this absolutely you can. This one will being really cool so you ombre um you encapsulating your voice and then you ombre so like two cool techniques going on there. So with the same this one I am going to using our Yum Yum I Hold Shampoo for you. Make sure you are skiing this properly. 30 seconds under really proper LED lamp. And if your lamp needs to be replaced, you do that as well, because or else it's not gonna key it for you. And it's gonna give you a really hard time and it's gonna be tacky and not gonna chamfer up perfectly for you. So I'm gonna apply this like this part I'm like and here for 30 seconds hey the glam girl how are you thanks so much for tuning in how are you how are you and then for this one when it's set I am going to apply the same as premium I hold chan for foil. I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be so cool and stunning. And here for 30 seconds. And on that nails, the orange one, I will apply the apply the um, chanfu foil but then the first one let me move this just a second and I do this one super super cute fall leaf this is so stunning this go to exactly where you want and this chanfu foil will really stick and hold tight to the nails. And if you feel like, can you get the scissors there? If you feel like you um, get like extra scissors, cut it. You don't have to get whole things in one's nails. You can cut that one. And I'm go ahead and cut that right there. And I'm gonna cut 
couple of this one as well. It's staying really good and like stick so amazing on it. I might cut half of this. You don't have to get whole things in there, whole leaf, because you know, get half of and enjoy that one there. Great. So I am going to do some top coat, just really thin coat. Or you can go ahead and coat the clear as well. It doesn't matter. You can coat completely on it. You don't have to. I'm going to do it on with the foil. But if you really want to do that, you can as well. Okay, let me move this one away. And I just need a clear powder. And I'm just using the brush with the belly and then kind of blend it and got it down. Instead of just like drag it all the way. And then it means it's gonna get more chance to like pull off all of your powders that you've been hard to building it hi Debbie how are you second beat Second beat, you can get it closer to the cuticle if you needed it. Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you, Debbie. Happy Wednesday. Just add it on to wherever you needed it to be like perfect. Dom, could you like um, share on Facebook for me? Because I don't think I can share those though. Can you? Hi, Shana, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. Great, so I'm gonna just guide it right in the center of the nails and let this one set. Hey, thank you, Dom. Somehow, I don't know, I don't have a button to share that. Maybe something I did, I need to update the new app. So let this one on the side to let it set. In the meantime, I just keep that finish with this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna apply that chamfer foil.
Hey, Nika, how are you? Look at that. Chance for everything. It's like kind of heating in there. So I am going to put the no wipe top coat. Make sure you're doing a no wipe top coat or else it's going to get like melt and dissolving all of your Chanfer Foy image here. It's so beautiful and super cute. Okay, here. 60 seconds. Oh, I know, right? Nene, so it's like it probably that's how it happened that it didn't let anyone share no more. I have no idea how you can share anymore. Probably you can't share anymore. So you just have to turn on the notification. Oh, I saw your hands, new goodie. Thank you, Shina. And either you, you want to using the yellow to blending an ombre, you can't. If not, then... Uh, I like how that look. You like that, how that looks, uh, um, the chanfer boy on? Hey, Keja, how are you? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't let us though. It probably didn't It do that too. So it looks super, super, super cute. So I am gonna do the yellow just a little bit I'm gonna break it into can you take that one I'm gonna break it into like um, two different beads and the first one I'm gonna do it right away is the almost end of my um, first colors so I'm blend it down so that's why I won't have to worry about it blending and then cuticle, perfect cuticle area at the same time. Look good on the long nails. You like this design? Second bead. I'm gonna do that. If you want to like perfect of any edges you feel like you need to add on, you also can do it too. Hey Eric. Okay. So happy with this. Let's try to get it blend really well. And then we're gonna using a crystal clear to cap it. To make sure they are cut perfectly on this nails without if just in case of you doing an e-file you are not gonna have to worry about you know is too heavy-handed and taking away your ombre design it's happened to me when I was starting learning as ombre it's a wire and then thank you Debbie for sharing Hey, thank you, Debbie. How are you sharing, though, Debbie? Me and Dom couldn't figure out how to do that. I guess they're just updating, so we don't you, have a share. So you no updating way. maybe the new app? Guess I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe I. Hey, thank you, Debbie. that you have to really seeing it super cool I 
feel the difference in here. Hmm. I like that one though. If you have to see really cool closer. Nice. I get some fun on that one. So I'm going to clean my brush. Clean that soon and well. And make sure you don't have any excess of the powders left on your brush. And you clean that. Shape the brush nicely. And then tap on. Oh, put that watch party. I can't do, I can't even do that too. It doesn't give me anything to do, um, Debbie. It doesn't give you a, uh, and then keep it upside is, um, your bristle down with the cap on. It doesn't let me an option of, uh, watch. It's only let me an option of the like and love. That's all. And I'm gonna let this one set right in front of you. And I think I did this one with that look. That's Halloween foil. And the first look, I'm using all the leaves. Cool, I'm gonna pop it on the side right here. Hey Shay, how are you? Hello Glow 10, how are you? Oh, you know what? China, I, the same thing. I don't know is how, just you just need to go back into our page on the top. Uh, I think it's three dots. You just need to turn on the notifications. I don't know how the uh, Facebook work, but how is Instagram, like you go into the top, right? And there are the three dots you can, I guess. Turn on the notification. Maybe I should do a video for them. How to turn on the notification. Oh, let me move this. I'm gonna show you how I fire. It's gonna be easier to doing it for the, like a real hand, humans being hand. Instead of just this, basically, this the hand file it will do everything for you. Basically, if you are focused on like um, applications and the filings, like you don't need to using so much of your e files, like a little bit of to clean up the cuticles and smooth it out. But usually with this. It will take care of the most of majority of your shape and structure of your nails. I think it's gonna look so much better if I do a real model. I think you've done for you to all the trouble for Shay. Oh. Thank you, Shay. Thank you, Dom, for Shay. Great, so I'm using a 100 and 100 and 100. Just buff it. Can you close this one for me? Please, thank you. No, um, CC, I can't share it on Facebook for everyone. Off. 
it and then take a look after we top coat it. Spray with alcohol. Clean it. See, so now, if you don't want anything else, you can just top coat and good to go. Top coat here for 60 seconds. I just buff on the, I just buff on this, so then that way it looks matching the colors. Look at that, if you don't want anything, top coat and you're good to go. I am gonna top one. And should I bling one? If I don't bling one, then everybody gonna miss it. I will miss it. Cause I don't know any time that I would do with no crystal. Oh, you say it, Shan? How are you saying on Twitter? Just share. I'm gonna have to learn a lot from all of you with TikTok and Twitters. I think I have Twitters and I'm not good at this. And then TikTok, I'm not good at it either. So <laughs> I have to learn a lot from you and I am absolutely open to learn. Um, what should we do now? I have all thousand of ideas for all of you. Aha, this looks cool. will look good I am going to top coat this one and leave it alone you can do a matte top coat if you would like to but I want it using a no wipe top coat you love Twitter everybody tweets really well I think this one looks good with matte too, but you know what? The sugaring, glitter sugaring, like I did, just tap some on. It looks so cool. It just changed the look of this. Hey, thank you, Dom. Okay. So, yes, we are putting some uh, crystals on this. Let me close it and let me that one. Crystal placement on that one. I'm going to do really cool crystal placement on this. And the leaf is your favorite. My favorite is to... Mika is condensed wool gels. I almost like doing just the color instead, but I'm gonna miss it. Like 20 a brush. So this is a quick tip and trick for a lot of you love liquid can powders and ombre and chamfer foil. My tint tip brush. Looks really good when you have some like a uh, shiny top coat on. Oh, I can't wait. That's the new ones. You'll see it soon. Oh, maybe we should do like some new design with that. And the no wipe top coat. Make sure you add the no wipe top coat on and is will with the no wipe top coat and condensed glue gels will grab the base of your crystals you know keep it stay nice in place and it's not gonna wear away for three weeks it's gonna stay like concrete on the nails hey crucio how are you how are you, my dear? Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, the 
crystal school right there. Do another frame pixels on on earth. You can add some beads on it as you prefer. That's why I put all the way to school, all the way down here, so then I can dress it up a little bit for you. I know that we can't do without any of my crystal at all, so we're gonna got something. See that how easy it is? So if you are, here's a great tip and trick for beginners. If you are doing the um, crystal placement, you get one of the favorites of your centerpiece first. Doesn't matter what shape you want. You can do like radiance, you can do a, a short, you can do squares, you can do um, a round shape, however, whatever shape you would like and whatever designs of centerpiece you have. Um, you can place them right in the middle or on the cuticles, it means that that's the main dish for you and then you can add more crystal along with what you would like to. Closer you are apply them together, the better it will look. Automatically, it's gonna look so much better, you can tell. By and you start create that and then trust me, try it and then see how it goes. Because instead of you feel them separate and then it doesn't go any difference like hands or um, designs, you might like, oh my God, I don't like it. But get them really close together. Doesn't matter frames, beats, and you get them a close, close, close. If they're separate or parts, then you should like think about and put them close together. You see, it's gonna turn out the way you expecting it pretty much. I'm so excited for all of you who is checking on the class. Um, there are class gonna be hosting right in Pensacola. We are so excited. We only take few seats only. So the seatings is limited. So check that out. It's gonna be right in Pensacola with the sponsor, boat company, Glitz Assistant and such. And she's on the arts with a lot of good products so many of techniques learning and including is pretty much everything about liquid can powders proper applications and um uh, crystal placements perfect for beginners and for even the advanced as well you know you know why i'm saying it because when i start doing is in the industries for a long time, I was thinking that I'm like really good already, but you'd be amazed at how you start seeing it. Oh my God, I need to learn more. So I never stop learning. So it's great for like a lot of um, beginners and advanced. It fit perfectly because we always always get something that learns every day. So if you help pee with this and we're gonna here this one so I'm gonna might put a couple of so check that out because the class is only um is sitting limited so we don't after we get to a certain amount to just keep everything is cool and nice uh perfect with social distancing so we are offering just few seats check that out more information on our website at glitzassessionsuch.com and then you can um, click on the link on the class. And also, if you have any further question, feel free to either email us at info at .com or DM us with any question regarding to the class. Anything you could ask, because we 
for past two years we got trained so many of um now text we got an opportunity to train so many to be part of your you know journey and it's changed completely you know their life with learnings and the looks change in the industry and you not only feel really so much of confidence also you take your premise skills to the next level so i'm gonna put one more and then i'm gonna keep that Oh yeah, this is like a one millimeter, tiny one. But we have a big one on that uh, acrylic flower jars. That's huge one as well. Thank you, Dom. So one more highlight for us. If I miss you, sorry. I keep talking and I didn't get to see it on the screens, but I am. For the minutes I'm. Looking up, I can't wait to showing like how much you're gonna get into the class. So much gift, so much learning, and I'm so thrilled. Okay, yeah, you happy now? I'm. Um, can I cure this? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cure this one for sixty seconds. It. Here's a final look of this leaves. Get closer. Nothing's but leaves. Can you believe that? I have no, I have one nails with no crystals. Hi, Jamila. How are you? She said that there's no twin. J Jamela? Hey, Jamela. It's a twin in Spanish? Yep. Hey, Eric, it's not fair. You're going to teach me. Jamela? Hey, how do you know? You know? She's been, she been telling you that forever. It is? Yeah. Oh my God, I must me. didn't see the screen though. Don't make two. Okay, so. Hey, Keja. Keja was there from the beginning. Thank you, Keja. All right, so I'm going to do a precision glue gels. You know what I miss about, like, we should name the name. So here's the word thing. This week, we're going to tag the bestie, but next week, we're going to repost, and we're going to name the set of the nails. So I got to be here learning from all of you and to sharing is cool techniques. And then we're gonna name it next week. How about that? It's gonna be fun to name it. It's all four nails. Okay, so I am using this needle. This first part, it has that little red cap. So I just take this, but I don't do it away. I always keep it on my side. Top one, like this. But do not do that red cap away. You want to keep this bestie here. That could be a needle bestie, and this is a crystal bestie. So. I am going to doing a little exam right there and I feel scratchy then you're gonna feel it in and also I'm gonna feel right around and coat and seals completely all the frame I'm not afraid of to put it over the frame it doesn't change anything but actually it does benefit for it to prevent from getting tarnished but I am not going to put on the top of crystal because it's gonna destroy the shines and the cut format. So I'm trying to avoiding as much as possible. And then just seal it in here. If you need to like clean up all the excess precision glue from along the edges of crystals, and the frame, make sure you're using a twin tip brush on the other end and just kind of blend it so then it doesn't look lumpy after you cure. So now we're gonna cure it for 50 seconds and this now is gonna be done. So it's 
pronounced Hamela, I guess. Hamela? Yep, G pronounced as an H. Hamela. Oh, yeah, the other one doesn't have anything to just a little off. Huh? Yeah, I was wondering why you, why you didn't do this one. But no. Yeah, you got nothing on it. I got nothing yeah, on it. Just to calculate. Yeah, so I'm going to try to be a little bit of, um, not changing, but a little bit different for the technique. So once we're being like, okay, you see no crystals. Crystal, not to crystal. So we're true to not to crystal. So you can see your leaves this is three of them i'm using there are 12 of them that some of them is really beautiful i want to i want to put 12 of them on it but then the same thing i'm overdoing it this is another one this is really cool i like it a lot too and it's so easy is that we're using the transfer foil gel to uplines on it's so tacky is it on this one i don't know how long maybe you will do 10 years nail designs in order for you to finish all the leaf you can use its whole set and then get some or a lot of design and use it for a lot of cool stuff so here you go and then let talking about how you're gonna charge and how you're pricing this for the clients so with this nails we did is marbling and then glitters so usually good marblings with the nails when you're doing it encapsulating you're gonna do at least you are going to do at least is ten dollars for marblings and five dollars for encapsulating. So this nails is going to be at least fifteen dollars because you have your um, marblings also with your glitter and your encapsulating a glitter leaf charms. So fifteen dollars for this nails. If the client said, oh, I just want, I just want $10 per nail, then okay, great. So then you can do a base color, like solid colors. Like either you're doing green or you're doing yellow or you can do an orange. So they can make it extra $10 for the nails on the top of your new set. For instance, if your new set is 65, 75, 85, it depends on what the price range that you charge for the new set from the salon. So you can do that. So that if the client's doing two rings fingers, there will be extra twenty dollars per on your tickets of doing this fun nail art. So my going to this nails, we have ombre and foil encapsulating. So you have two techniques right here. So you're doing foil, chant for foil, and then your ombre, and then your crystal placement. So this is crystal placement is for me. If and our salons will be twelve dollars. However, every salon is different. It could be between $10 to $12 or $15. It really depends on your salon location and how you price them. But usually when you're doing a combination of so many different techniques per nails, you can give them like have a combo price, which is like instead of if you're doing just ombre and uh, chan for foyer and the neat, like two techniques you can could be in the price it's gonna be like at least fifteen dollars for that two techniques however when you're doing it with this plus yours um crystal placement so it can be two ten dollars five dollars for chance before in five dollars for the ombre so we'll make it ten and then twelve dollars for the crystal placement or ten dollars for crystal pay payments placements as you're doing a combo so make it like a twenty dollars on the top of your um your initial set like if your initial set is 55 so if the clients want decide to do one string fingers a lot of them do ones only or two doesn't matter or someone's doing with the point fingers so with the extra of $20 per nails or $22 per nails on the top so each of ticket each clients are with the design you can add it up on your tickets extra of 22 20 to $22 on that on the top of your initial set so how can you able to how can you able to appraising for the clients it's really really is really cool and simple and then how do you able to approaching and, and pricing them and and promoting your services with the clients basically you know is the best way to me it my experience too and it's a lot for so many years it having your nails done doesn't matter if you are busy at your salon 
really really busy totally understand because holiday comments and a lot of you know a busy busy with a lot of going on and then holidays like now with pandemics this make us even like busier because we have to spend extra time to being prepped and clean and wiped out a lot of hours like tools and chairs and station so make sure you are like you know getting your nails done and it doesn't matter you can do it short long shorter and have a couple of the nails of your designs on it so usually with us whenever i'm wearing the design is uses how my clients want to get pretty much the design like if i wear 10 different design they tend to get one or two of them out of this so it's really like your nails is your advertising so if you are getting like even if you can't get all of them designed you can get to only like a solid nice nail set and then a couple of designs so then usually when you're doing this then the clients tend to get in this designs a lot um throughout the week you weighing them so that is one of the tip and trick how you can able to promoting with your clients and to add it up for your uh, tickets so make sure that you pricing them right for the clients and then for instance if the clients I don't want and see I don't want uh, I don't want to like you have a price that I can get good of $15 you know um, designs on the nails like then the clients have to pick between ombre or encapsulating so if they will do ombre then you can do it stuff with ombre at ten dollars and then you know like a ten dollars for crystal or twelve dollars for crystals or if you want to do fifteen dollars you take off some of the crystal or the the frames or the beads to make it a little bit simple so then you can do the ombre or you can do a chamfer foil or ombre so either or uh, and the crystal placement so you can be in like $15 for the price so then you take off some of your crystals and beads completely off and frame so then you can able to do it $10 per nails because you have one special shape which is the skull and then all of your crystals over here so that's the sum of ideas and then the same thing with this the clients that want to do it just like only $10 then then you can ask the clients that would you willing to take off your marbling because this marbling will take your time take you time to adding two or three colors together so hope that that helpful hope you find that helpful for you with um, the how you pricing for the clients and how you're able to doing all different cool design for the holidays yeah good night mama Vic have a good night thanks so much for tuning in post <laughs> what what Eric's what about your fingers yeah so great so hope you are enjoying it I'm so enjoying it tonight it's freaking cool for the uh, fall nails and I hope this is videos it's five really helpful for all of you because I really enjoying it to doing its fall seasons and check out the nails last night we did like fall but it's really cool and different look maybe if you like more sugaring tomorrow i can draw something and then do sugarings with us together tomorrow i'm freaking love this eric's must be yours did you forget your flowers here you should come and pick it up right there hey perfume how are you you are very welcome mama Vic. Good night, Mika. Are you leaving? Awesome. So glad you're tuning in. Hey, 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 Eric. You pick. You forget your flowers here. Come and pick it up. Oh, for some reason, maybe you just ex, like exist out and then come back in. <laughs> and now I don't remember what color of your drum you drum. What color is your favorite color though? Mika, are you there? Say, like, what color is your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. I like them all. Thank you so much, Vivian. Thank you, thank you. Watching last. Hello. Thanks so much for tuning in. Okay, Eric's. I'm waiting for you. When you come visit me, then probably we're doing your nails. You'll be my models. And then we're going to dress up everything in purple. I can do... I can do like a purple um, fusionings and then I can do a purple chromes.
Oh, it's only on my live videos? That's for real? Weird. Oh, purple and green are live. Light green or dark green? Thanks, Randy. Hey, hey. Hey, Sharendi, are you, when are you gonna be visit me? Is it visiting me? If you're visiting me, just set who waiting for you. You'll be my models. Pink, where is all that? Oh, Laurie, you, your favorite color is pink. So, if you come visit me, I will do in yours, uh, passionate fusion ink. All green, okay. Like hunter green or just green green? Hey, bye, Kushio. Are you leaving? Thank you so much. Lamb green hairs. And do it, Dom. Life too short. Because if you like it, do it. If you don't like it, then change it back. You only have one life to leave. If you look at my face right now, you see what I mean. But very soon, we'll get it set up. So then we can, we can actually just streaming. You can see my face. I'm so how happy I am. I wish that y'all can see me in my face and talk back to me, so. Oh, yes, Mika, it's virtual trip shows. Coming in, the poster coming in, hopefully tonight, tomorrow. I can't wait, so excited. So check out the class information as well. One of the class is gonna really changing totally of your, you know, is life. I'm saying it, I mean it. For past almost three years, we got opportunity to train so many of our students across country, and it just bursts in tears to see so many amazing, amazing, amazing of a so talented potential. They was flying from a different places, different states, um, and we holding our classes back for so long. So many of inquiries hope you all can make it we're doing one day class we're getting really intense on that and it also is really changing your life absolutely a lot of them is sending really awesome feedbacks that how they used to be really afraid of to do a lot of different designs a lot of or they're afraid of to chalk them properly or the clients properly and they never think they can able to achieve so many different cool set of nails now they are so confident and they are back they so busy and couldn't even get back to us when they're sending a message on the group chat i said oh my god i'm so busy i was like taking all the clients who are like younger generations and then want to do a longer nails and really is custom nails i feel so much better to able to like able to say yes to them instead of oh no we don't have that offer or we don't do it yet you know after the class you see your skills take you to the next level. And we're gonna really focus on how you shipping. Most of us getting really like a bulky on the side and we don't know why. When I'm working on that, as also is a lot of tutorial I'm sharing and showing really, really good, but it's still not like I got an opportunity hands on. So it's to be safe. We're gonna take only few seats in Pensacola only and it will be in training in my salon, big space and facility so then we'll get really all organized to be social distancing um we have a mass on for all of you so then your being is mass on learning and with all a different equipment that we have to keep everybody in the top of you know safe and really fun to learning so check that out and we only have few seats so if you have any questions just feel free to contact us and we're absolutely gonna assist you with any questions. Thank you so much, everyone. I will be back tomorrow. And then if you wanna see anything, I have the colors for the nails tomorrow ready on short nails. I can't wait to share with you in the futures with uh, dipping powders, also with liquid powders and poly gel. Stay tuned for so many live tutorials every night. And don't forget to share this one this pictures in a little bit and then tag your bestie follow that uh, requirements and then the winner will be announced on next monday live stream and the winner of this week winning will receiving over a hundred dollars uh gift products gift from glitz accessory and such we already shipped our winner with last week already so we catching up with all of whoever we're missing so if you are missing and you haven't heard from email from us, please feel free 
to email us back as soon as possible and sorry if we're missing you because probably it was the message might go into our spam folders then we really have to like check in and dig it all everything if we miss anyone so because every day we have overwhelming with almost a thousand emails daily with dm as well so we're trying to make sure we get everybody is taken care of without missing any of questions or anybody so please be patient and thank you so much for the love and support um good night dom dom leaving good night dom i'm expect to see you with the green hair Oh, CC gonna get a green hand. CC get a good hand now. All right, all my love. You take care. Check out all everything on the online store with a lot of so amazing, cool products will be available on our five dollars nail art section. They're so stunning. A lot of cool things. You don't have to get to whole many of them. You can get all cool a lot of products in the smaller versions of five dollars nail arts is so freaking stunning so like here's something a tip and trick okay you were starting and don't have much of investments this is some of things that i will learn along with a lot of my mentors that how i apply for my business as well for instance like oh my god how can i get how can i able to get so many of this and if the clients are asking i don't know how i can able to keep it with the clients and keep up like i, I spend a hundred dollars and then i have all the stuff there and then the clients will not asking for it you know why because they don't see no one's weighing it if you weighing it some things they will absolutely asking for it that's why the reason they don't see you weighing it they're gonna looking hunting on that instagram or facebook or pinterest so then that way they can bring it to you so you can even get one of this in the five dollars in your art sections simple thing or even like this metal uh, centerpiece and then get it for yourself test it out first when you get two of them one's result for your customer whoever seeing yours and so my god and then sees your nails so good and it's so gorgeous and i want like yours is it okay i have one really cool unique pieces in there that if you would like to if not then someone will be using it or someone's going to ask for it then we might have to wait until my next order come in so that's how you can get started and then you get started and then with the price of the nails like for in this 20 to 25 dollars right you put it on the size of whatever it costs for your flowers and put it back and then so you can buy another set of it for the next clients come in so that's how i start with when i was you know um starting out with almost 20 years ago you know it's no one said like everybody start from somewhere and i did the same thing and even until today so a lot of stuff that i like for doing it and their arts for the clients i will start something and testing out first and then i will explain it myself too and weighing it to like showing the clients nails my nails and they seeing, oh my god i want something like this they don't have to necessarily get all everything because it's gonna cost them like so much money but you can tell them i can do some cute like um butterflies and some crystal or butterfly so being the price is five to seven dollars you know if you want crystal will be twelve dollars because they add crystal on so so many different ways you can approach your clients and how you get all of that you know incorporate together to make them happy and then they feel so pampered and they feel their nail text is so up to date not behind you know like anything so hi leah how are you you can absolutely watching them, Leah. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. If you have any question, feel free to DM us or is anything regarding to the products and what we're using, absolutely can DM us or email us at info at .com. All Most of the products is, is special autumn sales up to 20% off. And you can find the link is simply on our bio at Glitz Assessor and such and then a lot of we have probably about almost 300 different videos for a past uh, almost three years or more or more I didn't want to like I don't remember how many of videos this all the video is really a good from hearts from us to really want to support every single of you who is beginners looking for something with liquid and powders you can absolutely look in that videos also you are looking for is some crystal placements or 3d placements or anything or charms um encapsulating any technique chan for foy any any t difficulties with the technique chan for foy you can absolutely 
um, also do that as well. So, oh, you are very welcome, Leah. And then so then that way you can um, able to see a lot of different videos that you miss. And if you still haven't seen the videos that you are looking for, you want to learn, let me know or let team knows or message us, then we can able to fulfill your request. That's all, that's what you say. Yes, Lily, I did do this flowers. Oh no, this one, we have, a, we have the pre-made handcrafted flowers. But if you wanna see this flower made, you can see that from our live tutorials last week, we did this using our 5D gel. So this one I use is baby blue. It's really cool though. If you wanna see learning how this one, this one is acrylic, this one is 5D gels. Really, really cool. Yes, thank you, Dom. Yes, they are handmade, pre-made handcrafted and it's really cool yes i love it as well we have so many of this color so check that out and i using um sugaring i using this to sugar on the top and i did using that gel painting it's just literally yesterday you can absolutely leave. you can be watching them last night it's so fast the tutorial is only like 15 minutes and it's super easy to learn and follow I did this one to outline it. And I sprinkle um, sugaring, glitter sugars in. So that's why you're seeing that glitter. So excited and I can't wait to see everyone tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> you should do acrylic. I have a lot of 3D acrylics, uh, flowers, a flat 3D acrylics. You know what, this one, if we're doing a stream for this, it's a takes good about at least one paddles good about like maybe half an hour or longer to do that and now we have our special team that made this flowers you know working with glitz and made this so unique colors shade and the size for all of you so then you can sit back and relax save you so much time because guess what? We can't make half an hour what with an hour or half an hour, you don't make $5. Why don't you keep that $5 of your time of half an hour, an hour, and make a $50? How about that? That is one of the way that my mentor was teaching me. I didn't see that when I was starting. I was like sitting, freaking, making an hour of that flowers. And then you can't charge the clients $50. Oh, hold on. You can't charge the clients $20 or $30 or $50, but you can pay $5 plus discount. Well, so less. But then you save your an hour to make a $50 set of nails. That's what I would do. So that's why we're stepping in to help you and support you to work smarter, not harder. But however, <laughs> you can learn this. It's so freaking stunning. This is faster than. The reason I I were loving and we really introduced and we love freaking so much of 5D because guess what? This one with acrylic, you set, you have certain time that your acrylic gonna set. So if you don't do it, then it doesn't turn out right. 5D gels, you have all the time in the world. So you can do when you're watching TV or you can't relaxing, doing whatever you wanna do and then you do this not key so if you make a mistake you can do it again so it's like relaxing enjoying it that's another story so they can do it at home when it's like you don't have to worry about odor or smells or anything at all so you're taking your time and doing it yes but the acrylic is take a little bit it take more effort to do it so i would doing it i will making it like from glitz and such less than five dollars so then I call it good in the clients. It is the handcrafted, so it's not like a plastic stuff, you know? So not like, it's a acrylic handcrafted. Thank you so much, Pupum. Exactly, make that money. I know, I would rather to do an hour to do a new set of nails, so I make $85 
and I can save five dollars to buy my flowers or I can cut it like fifteen dollars to get by my three flowers and then my three flowers can make me another twenty dollars it's just like how we just doing in the industry to be work smarter because if you are doing a ten flowers like this I'm dying I'm literally gonna stop getting cranky because it's really taking a lot of effort. So we have a special team that is really special only doing it custom with us. That's how you, why you're seeing it is really special. Made to a lot of dedications and heart. So then we can be in front, not behind the scene in front to make all that happen. So then you will love what you're doing. Also, I'm still sharing and training with the 3d flowers using a 5d gels so you are right cc so that's why you can find all these flowers on ours is five dollars nail art section this one you absolutely freaking can find this cute cute 5d gels i can't wait i think wait we have one more we haven't done i haven't fulfilled one more yet wait a minute so which one i miss do I miss the grapes? Which one do I miss? Taro. I have this one, taro. Plum. Strawberry. Hold on. This one, uh, strawberry. This one, plum. This one, matcha. Taro. And this is baby blue. I did it all. If you want to watch this video, this is really cool. Last week video, you can pull them out, and it's all in our IGTV. Or if you're on Facebook, check out our Facebook videos. It's so many there. It's like a few hundreds of videos there. And then I think the grapes that I haven't get done. Maybe tomorrow we'll do one sections with the uh, grapes. I believe so. This one, the one I didn't do. I have taro right there. Or maybe did I do? Yeah, I have tarot this one right there. So I'm still on all of you grapes. So we're definitely gonna do it tomorrow. Okay, and then one nails, one nails with 3D 40s using a 5D gels. This. Let me see if I miss any any questions for me at all before we end tonight. Oh, the, being your own boss come with the freedom, but you have to learn fast. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Bella. Hey, thank you, Bella. I'm so glad you like it. Would you stop? Working out for someone else to try to start your own business? Absolutely, yes, Laurie. I don't know. Every, um, thank you, Bella. Uh, everybody have a different opinions. I would do like this. Okay, we need to talk about whole topic about this. Um, I could be on and on for a few hours. I wish you see my face right now. His face is so goofy right now. So. I would absolutely the reason why it's not about sometimes it's not about money it's about experience and learning it doesn't matter you are end up with some places really great I mean you are lucky you are end up with some places really not good environments it's still lucky because you learn to being in the worst environment so you know what's the best option for you so I didn't really know that there is when I'm older but I always know that I have to work hard. So then I have to learn to be patient and learn different steps because no one else, like the same thing, we have our babies, say like no reason we just have the baby and then the baby know how to talk and run. It take time, three months for baby to roll over, six months for baby to cross, and then nine months for baby start to walking, right? The same thing with anything in our life, even including is the careers that we are choosing right now. So, Talking about now, we should we should pod, podcast that and talking about another topic. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe Dom and me we should do it, huh? Dom, I love that. I love that how I sharing it. Not because of no offense or anything, just an idea. So how 
we can get deep into the conversation with how we can able to help a lot of nail tech to be successful and love what they're doing and they know that they chose the right careers and um our industry hey joanna how are you so oh yeah dom let talking about that topic and um I would start something here is quick story that's why I really want to share and I'm so passionate about this um, when I start out I was in college I was doing fulfill a lot of my mom's and my dad dreams I'm still never being like regrets I did it because I'm so glad I did have a good foundations as well and I did it with college and along when I went to college with my business degree and also with my nails uh, school that I did it during the summertime so then I can you know, still like what I'm doing, like really get into the nail stuff and then colors and stuff, but I don't know how to draw, but I have to tell you, no one lie to you, husband know how to draw so amazing. I'm so glad that so we'll balance out. But you're thinking if I'm really drawing well, well, I don't think we're gonna leap well together. We'll probably fight all the time. So at least that he's drawing it good or not, I'm still, it's still amazing, it's still better than me. So, long story short. So I went to school. So finally, I'm looking for a lot of places to work. Nobody's gonna care like, you know, to accept me because I'm brand new. I don't have any experience, but I just like, you know, just let me try. It's really hard to get a job when you're a student and they was like not gonna trust you because they can't, you don't know if they're gonna really like relies on you or you are accountable, you know? So I like, um, totally brand new. It doesn't know anything. You think you know, but you didn't know. That's what they're expecting, you know? But I say, I'm willing to be trained and then you tell me what to do and I'm gonna do it. So I'm a teachable, you know, and coachable. And then, so, okay. So then I start learning and then, you know what? And I remember, and then one in summertime that I was in the summer break, then I did one summer in the school for, for really short weeks, eight weeks versus like 12 weeks. So, but uh, next year I'm just doing work full time in the nail summer. I work, so I do 20 spa pedicure, 20 spa pedicure. Well, I was younger back then. And I have to work harder before you can do smarter. First of all, you learn experience. Second, that you save your money. So we have to do what we have to do in order for us to do what we want to do. So I just don't, I just young and then I say, okay, I don't care. It's ex exhausted sometimes too, you know, and, but we just have to push it. And, uh, yes, yeah, so Laurie, that's how it is. They would not let me do anything besides, um, Beside a pedicure, they would not gonna let you me touching on fingernails. Are you kidding me? Like don't even dream about that. So we just have to 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 learn it because I think they was like afraid the clients gonna know that we don't know how to do, and they might gonna be upset and mad, and they're gonna leave the salon. And a lot of owners were afraid of you are like gonna losing the the prime or the cost of losing their clientele. So, so I just doing a pedicure for a long time. I'm telling you, I'm just learning and to the point I'm master of how I can prepping, doing perfect pedicure and prepping, shaping really nice. I know how to do all different cool fun nail art extra. So my ticket will be extra so I can do like a flowers like back then. Trust me, 20 years ago, it doesn't have all cool things like this, you know, like all of like basically it's just I'm using this. I'm using back of the brush. Back then, we have acrylic brush, like, like not like this, but have some of the back. So I'm using it to drawing it. You wanna laugh at me? But it's the only tool I have. And after that, maybe ten years later, that I have is the dot tool. I'm not gonna lie to you. I remember every single thing. Even though I'm in the college, and then I doing this, so then year 10 years or a little bit past 15 years later and then I start getting some tool like a dot two tools you know so then i was um able to start learning and i'm doing it back then i didn't like we're so lucky nowadays we have social media we have um like igtv to watch we have youtube it's really in now back then is back not much youtube you know or facebook now facebook watch uh, TikTok, you know, back then, 
only a magazine. So I'm looking on my old computers like Google and so see many shows that happen in California. I save my money. I work really hard so I know that I can take another course and then I was looking at the shows in California and see how many of the free classes or summer classes offer that I can able to afford. So I'm I'm gonna market in there. So I'm listening out all different of the uh, schedule of throughout the years. What shows going on, one in California, one in uh, La uh, Las Vegas, and one in um, local in my, is I always like trying to be and see if I can get locals or like closer. So then that way it will be not taking me away from a lot of the off at work, which is that, you know, you have to do and start like that. Back then it doesn't have a lot of classes. So I have to keep doing it. And then the, the persons I work with in the salon, it's couple, um, a couples, young couple. They will never, here's something it was what I still remember as of today. It's just something to remind myself, really grateful for every single of you and for what I have done and a lot of mentors that will I able to find and to really edit on my journeys of my career. And so they are as a young couple really cool, but only thing that they do is they don't show me anything that I could do. So like if now here at my salon, anything or changing, updating, I was want whole entire of my team to get trained the same what I'm do. The reason it is because then they can do a whatever exactly what I'm doing. I'm not there. They can able to take good care of the clients and they will be good. Doesn't matter. They will stay with me for a long time or they will stay with me for one or two months. It doesn't matter. It's good for you, for your futures. And I'm ashamed with you because guess what? If I don't teach you, someone will teach you anyway. So... But back then I didn't get so they're always like doing appointment during the time I have a school because I did share the story that I did I went to school from 7 to 11 which is I meant 7 in the morning to 11 so I took four classes so in order for me to earn my scholarship and my uh, scholarship along with I have full time so then in order for me to get the scholarship so then I can keep that so after my class so I'm driving to the salon it take an hour to get there so I work until like 8 o'clock while I'm young, so I don't need like no kids and everything. So you totally fine with that. And um, so then that's what happens. And they will never share anything. They always book the appointments when the time I'm not there. So then I don't get to learn the new techniques and what's going on. So maybe a lot of self-taught until I find so many of the classes from the trick show, from a lot of mentors to so many different and big companies. Some of them are still existing until now. Some of them are gone by now. But it's still like a lot for the Twitch shows. So nowadays we have social media. So we can, like, I can connect to you. I can share with all of you. Without you have to come and see us direct here. So how wonderful is that? So it's long story. We can sit here and stream for eight hours. But all of a sudden it's emotional. It's feeling so good. Because guess what? It Back 10 years later when I start after few years when I graduate from my college and then after that instead of going to being in the business field I chose to open my first business when I didn't have so much of money I just save it as I go and then I continue education become a brand ambassador for so many companies that's one of my goal for my career life so I market into my mark how many months before I want to become a brand ambassador and how many months before I want to become like it, one part of a fashion week in New York with one of my mentor? How many mom, months before I can learn how to master up my do 3D flowers? I told you that I learned four years and the 4D flowers or 3D flowers didn't really like, like me at all. Um, so when I, now when I got to really master of it, part of it, I really want to share to all of you doesn't matter you don't take my class or you are in my class so you can still get full whole of me to learn but if you really want to have hands on I get to see you because then I can able to walk you through what we can able to improve that so much for your skill and technique so but by the way 
Dom, let's plan on the podcast on this topic. Let's get the topic so we invite everybody in and then you can all do the question on us and like say how you can able to start from beginning, how you can able to build the client sales and how you can able to keep the client sales, how you can able to um, like is consult the clients, how you can able to please the clients, how what is a boundary that you can and cannot do what is for your clients, you know? So we can talk about that topic and then we can do that. Let me know. Hey, Jesse, stamping. Oh yes, copycat, that's great. <laughs> Live Ross, you haven't had a so do you wanna hear the story time? It's funny, every time I say something, my kids are, oh story time. But hey, is this a is something is quick short that remind me why I am keep doing what I'm doing for all of you. All right, live ass wanna come visit you. We're gonna go coffee times and we'll do story time. Cause what is that what is that coffee that you I love from yours that you got on your birthday? What is that again? And then what is the cake what the cake there? Bye, Bufumia. Okay, so great. Okay, we're gonna set up some time with me and, and Dom, me and Vicky. We wanna stream together and we're talking about questions for anything. So have your question ready and then we can uh, talk about that topic. Or we can probably shoot it first and then see if any questions, so we're collecting your question and we're talking about that. Oh, Jesse, are you talking about your acrylic brush? Your acrylic brush is supposed to be down, like your bristle right here. Right here, right? It's supposed to be down, not up. Because all of your liquid and excess powder is gonna get back into the your hair and your bristle right here. Kolonsky is gonna destroy it really fast. You're gonna do it down. And because glitz have all of glitz brushes has cap on it. So I usually put it down like this and cap on and it keep it down so it will not damage my brush. So all our brush, including tinted brush, 3D and then floral brush. And our little mini brush collection coming is also come with the brush as well. So you always keep it down. You don't keep it up. So that will protect your brush. Hey, Jesse, definitely, definitely, you are very welcome here. You want to get the brush with the cap on to protect your investment. You don't want to change your brush. I have thousands of brushes laying on me, down on my stations, and they're only collecting dust. It's all the dust, dust, dust. And it just damages really fast and easy. All right, my love, I think in story time, I will be here stream eight hours. I'm telling you, I love to be hang out with all of you, and then it's really amazing so i will see you tomorrow again and let me know what story time you want to hear you want like how you're able to talk how you're able to price the clients on pedicure or a new set or blah blah any any question any questions yes copycat the brush with the caps it will it will solder a lot of crumbs keep that they're calling <laughs> joke. The brush, Dom, they're calling your name. You probably will get it next month. I can't wait to see you drawing with that. Have a good night, everyone. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow with more story time and tutorial. <laughs> good night. <laughs>